the government's very skilled at managing the media. Uh, you know, it was all part of managing the image of what they're doing and, and trying to get support for what they're doing. But um, because they weren't uh, showing the, the science and the underlying workings and these human rights assessments and things like this, they had to sort of uh, evolve it into like an almost faith system where people have to you know trust the experts right and so you know people have trust they they talked about a lot you know trust the experts trust the health advice and even the ministers themselves wouldn't um talk like they don't even see the the human rights assessments they just say you know we 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 trust the expert advice we trust the health advice and it's like yeah it's like a faith sort of system that they built and of course, when you've got a faith system, they have, you know, believers and non-believers. And then the people who questioned it in order to maintain its credibility, they had to, um, you know, demonise and, and uh, delegitimise anyone that questioned it. And they did that from quite early on and have continued up, and, up until now even. You know, they would smear any sort of opposition as, um, you know, uh, morally reprehensible or insane or... Um, uh, extremists, uh, conspiracy theorists, they still do that, um, which I think is, you know, it's a its a pretty uh, awful way of dividing society.